Qu'est-ce que tu foutais Welcome back to Movie Flix. Today we are going to recap a 2016 sci-fi thriller movie titled Ares. A frustrating France tries to keep its people from distracted enough not to rebel over their crippling poverty by engaging them with a violent TV competition show. But before we begin, please consider subscribing to our channel. Now, without wasting any further time, let's begin, shall we? The movie is set in the future when France seeks to distract its people from rebelling against their terrible poverty by involving them in a violent TV competition show. The world over will shift in the near future. France's economy fails and companies purchase the country's debt. Moreover, 15% of France is unemployed and living in dismal homeless sadness, the greatest of which is under the Eiffel Tower. Despite the fact that the country is still a democracy, business seizes control over the government and enact far-reaching changes, deregulating several industries. Among these changes are the legislation of doping and human experimentation. As homeless and unemployment increases, violent new sports emerges. Pharmaceutical corporations support athletes in order to test now medications on them. Boxer Reda who fights under the allies Ares is wounded and loses his corporate sponsorship after a promising start aside from fighting in tough cage battles as a low ranked fighter he works for Altman a female business agent with whom he has a connection during times of public appeal the corporate run police department hires unemployed temporary laborers with Reda serving as a riot security guard in the front line during a disturbance he observes his niece an anti corporation activist being taken in a police vehicle and tries to get her released meanwhile his sister Kala is framed for illegally possessing a weapon Altman informs Reda that Kala would be accused as a terrorist and that the only option to keep her out of the prison is to bribe the officials which will cost 100k euros after hearing this reda becomes concerned and in order to raise the funds she is forced to participate in human research for hsx a medicine that has killed every previous test subject despite the fact that business executive and i tells him that his biochemistry will likely allow him to withstand the medicine she cautions him that he will black out for 5 minutes after ingesting it following that reda abandons carla's children in the care of his neighbor a cross dressing prostitute named mistosis who believes reda is a faceless despite their relationship mistosa agrees to assist him for the sake of the children reda is unable to bet on himself persuade misto to state reda's limited life saving on the fight After some time the CEO sensing the need for a spectacular display to boost sales arranges for Reda to battle a highly ranked fighter who has had his nerve system tampered with such that he no longer feels pain the fight is largely regarded as impossible for Reda to win and even his coach refuses to wager on him However, HSX performs admirably and Reda triumphs against odds of 12 raised to 1. Now that the drug has become a phenomenon, Reda earns enough money to liberate Kala by acting as a middleman throughout the process. She now dies in prison while attempting to save another inmate before he can. Altman then offers to return the money, but Reda requests that she use it to find out who framed his sister simultaneously Enoch's boyfriend Boris a hacker who supports the residents offers proof implicating Reda's coach Reda abandons the children once more Reda is knocked out in 17 second in his next fight and his previous victory is written aside as a fluke as a result HSX sales collapse and Reda's coach is financially devastated following that as he is meeting with him reda discloses that he did not take the drug and purposefully through the fight instead he stored the medicine to give to his coach who dies immediately after being injected 
Meanwhile, Anna locates Reda and informs him that she has directed Altman to abduct Carla's children. She goes on to claim that while Altman genuinely cares about him, Altman is more concerned with money. Reda hesitantly agrees to protest. In front of the corporate board of directors, Altman, on the other hand, instructs Anak to conduct mistosis at Reda's house. Anak informs mistosis that Reda wanted to thank him, which is completely out of character for him. Mistosis is now curiously recruiting Boris's hacking skills for assistance. Boris and mistosis then rescue the children and murder Altman. When they signal Reda as they are safe, Reda seizes HSX and tosses the CEO out of the window. On the other hand, Anna's bodyguard, two genetically produced clones of the most powerful arena fighters, acquire an early advantage over Reda. Anna, on the other hand, prevents them from killing him since they need him for additional drug experiments. Handicapped, by the fact that he must take Reda alive, yet both perish. When the 5 minute time restriction expires, Reda considers assassinating Anna but instead joins Boris in remotely breaking into the corporation's computer. Boris discovers evidence that 30,000 people died in HSX pharmacological trials. Now, knowing that his niece would never be safe from the corporation as long as he is alive. As patient zero, Reda commits himself despite Anna's objections, destroying the drug HSX's future. Boris eventually takes over the advertising and media display system, shows the entire HSX unsuccessful med medication trials in Reda's death. Finally, Reda's death sparks a movement against France corporate elite resulting in enormous riots and this is where the movie comes to an end i hope you enjoyed it as always until next time